Well, hello, beautiful. Um, for those of you who are followers and subscribers to the channel, this is a little quick message for you. So the eclipse was official yesterday, technically, like te yesterday, today, like minutes and don't matter. Um, but what has happened here in North America are some interesting things. So we had <clears throat> a major bridge in a major port in a major port city here on the East Coast collapse. A ship ran into a ship, lost power and ran into the 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 legs that hold the bridge up and literally the entire bridge collapsed across the water and it's going to hold up uh, it's going to make it's going to cause huge issues huge issues uh to the economy as well as the local area because you have to cross that bridge to get the other side of the city yada 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 i'll put a link to below but it's the francis scott keys bridge happened way early this morning around 1 30 um and i'm not doing a chart about that I mean, we can, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's done. I'm not, I, I find it very ghoulish to do tragedy charts. Like it's after the fact, what are you going to do about it? And it's not like you can prepare for these things. What are you going to move a bridge? <laughs> so anyway, so that happened this morning. Huge. It's a big deal. I'll put some links below. Um, and if you're interested, I would go take a look at it, see the impact, the literal huge magnified impact of this bridge collapse which just happened to have happened under the eclipse. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is because also today, under the eclipse, uh, mifepristone, the <clears throat> birth control medication that induces a spontaneous miscarriage, right, or the, the abortion pill, uh, but it's a, it's a miscarriage, it's a chemically induced miscarriage, um, is being heard live in the Supreme Court as I'm speaking right now. This is a very, very big deal. So the thing about it is, like, for me personally and a whole lot of other women who, you know, were around when this was a real issue, um, it doesn't affect us. Like, you know, the, listen, if I got pregnant at this point in my life, I've had much bigger concerns. Um, but for those of you who are under 40, right, who have kids, want kids, don't want kids, could possibly have kids, right, uh, this is this is huge. This is important. And there's so much more going on than just this. This is literally the tip of a freaking theological iceberg that nobody wants any parts of, right? The delusional God squad, the, the crazy Bible thumpers are literally out to enslave you and your uterus. Um, anyway, long story. So, but this is where it starts, or it's starting. This is one of the big places where it's starting is Mifepristone is being heard in the Supreme Court right now. Arguments for banning it nationwide. So for those of you youngins out there thinking you're going to stockpile this and you're going to order from Canada and Mexico, like, no, that's not going to happen. I don't know what planet you're living on, but that's not going to happen when they get through with this. So make sure you're watching that. <clears throat> so there's that happening. Now, the other thing is we have another eclipse coming up on April 8th, right? Literally not a week out from now. OK, which, again, is huge because we haven't even had a time to take a breath between this eclipse that we're under right now and the next one coming up, which makes this window between eclipses the bridge between eclipses highly unstable. OK, so uh, the April 8th, April 5th, the next eclipse, the 19 degree Aries eclipse coming up. It's a lunar eclipse. It's a new moon eclipse. I'll do that as part of the April horoscope, but I want you guys to have this today. So this is a very, very, ooh, um, this is a very, very heightened time of tension here in the United States. I can't speak for other countries. You guys are all going through your own, your own stuff, um, but I live here, so this is where I, I'm familiar with. So pay attention to what's happening. And if you're feeling a little like, like janky, like it's not your imagination, I have an electric car and my electric car is doing weird things like, you know, um, oh my God, like gremlins in the machine kind of thing. And we take it to the thing and they can't find anything. Of course, I just actually met the technician who works on my car who didn't hear a word I was saying. He's literally the stereotype of male mechanics not listening to women. Uh, so I'm more than a little upset about this. And the next closest place I can get my car worked on under warranty is 45 minutes away. <clears throat> and they're not calling me back. So this particular full moon eclipse is really being a doozy. In any event, the full moon eclipse, magnetic waves, and all sort of weird stuff we've got going on between these two eclipses, March 25th and April 8th, 5th, <laughs> is doing all sorts of weird stuff. And in, even in my electric vehicle, it's causing all sorts of weird power surges, and which is not safe. I've already had to replace a part in this because my car literally lost power on the interstate. It's a brand new car. So I'm not looking forward to driving it right now uh, until we get up to the other side of this eclipse. So... 
With that in mind, do as little as possible that is critically important if you can avoid it, right? Don't make any huge decisions. Don't be rash. <clears throat> Literally, this is a great time for the next 10 days to make your life as simple and brainless and calm and predictable as possible. Literally take a whole bunch of stuff off of your plate for the next 10 days and understand that this is a time of tremendous <clears throat> potent instability. Jesus, we just had a bridge collapse because of a power failure in a ship. My personal life, my my electric vehicle is having all sorts of weird power surges that the technicians can't even spot. And he's an idiot. Like literally that man, I've oh, so much bad things to say about him. I, I'm not done with him. You better believe you me. I'm not done with him. Um, so, and then of course the mifepristone with the abortion, the abortion pill, you know, that's why that causes miscarriages. Um, it is being heard in the Supreme Court right now. And of course, you know, Trump hole, you know, and all of his properties and stuff and all this mysterious sudden burst of cash he's got, you know, coming in, blah, blah, blah. There's a whole lot going on right now in this bridge period between these two eclipses. So be <clears throat> as minimalistic as possible in your activities and take this time to meditate, reflect, be kind to yourself, be kind to other people and walk as quietly and gently as you can. If you feel like you're like, like a cat hanging out the screen door, it probably because it should be. And we should all be walking like we're walking on eggshells right now. So treat everything with the idea that it has the potential to literally blow up in your face. Okay, so be mindful, be careful, and keep things as simple as possible until we get to the other side of the next eclipse.